slip generators can also be used to help enhance the oscillators you already have in your system. For example, you can use it as a sub-octave divider with either a pulse output if you use the left side or as a variable wave shape if you just use the normal output. You need to do two things to make the sub-octave trick work. First off, you need to make it track one volt per octave. So I have a copy of my keyboard control voltage over here again. I'm gonna plug it to the one volt per octave input on the slope generator. The second thing you need to do is take something like a nice pulse or square wave out from your master oscillator, the one that you're tracking here, and put that to the trigger input on your slope generator. That's gonna basically restart this every time there's a new rising edge on your pulse wave. Then I'm gonna go ahead initially and take my pulse output and run that into my data, which is then running into the mix input on the Mother 32. I'll put this in drone mode for now. Turn up the cutoff. Here's my base oscillator. And there's mixed with a sub octave. Let's come out of the sub generator. Ooh, nice fat sound. To set what octave you choose, you just change the rise and fall time since these affect the downtime in that pulse. Now, if you want to shape more interesting the pulse, go over to the normal output instead. And now you can shape the waveform by using the rise and fall times. Let's go ahead and bias towards my sub octave. And you hear its sound change. For example, I can make it very sawtoothy. And then go down to different integer divisions of the main oscillator. Tracks perfectly well too, since it is being synced to the main score wave. And of course, you can go ahead and use these exponential controls to reshape that waveform. You can also get some instability when you fall right on the edge of where it's about to be so long it's going to re-trigger on the next square wave and be a sub-octave. If you remember back to earlier movies, you'll remember what makes this possible. The rise and fall ignore incoming triggers until they finished doing their current rise fall cycle. That's why these are affecting how long our period is. And when it goes longer than one period of our master waveform, it falls back down to even two cycles. Go further, three cycles. Let's play a high note. So I really hear some of these sub octaves. You can start to do some subharmonic synthesis this way. Take it out of drone mode. Go ahead and envelope this. So if you've been wanting that sub-bass sound and you don't have a sub-octave in your current oscillator, there's another use for your slope generator.